Hey guys, welcome back to another session by Simply Learn. In our previous videos, you learned all about JavaScript arrays, loops, and functions. So moving ahead, in this video, we're going to cover the topic of JavaScript closures. So without further delay, let's begin. So before understanding what exactly closures are, let me brief you about the variable scope. Now JavaScript defines two scopes. You have the global scope and the local scope. Now any variable declared outside a function belongs to the global scope and as a result of which it can be accessible from anywhere in your code. These variables are nothing but the global variables. And local variables are those variables which are declared within a function. And as a result of which, these variables can only be accessed within the function or maybe its nested functions. So to give you a brief example, consider this piece of code. Here, the variable a is defined outside the function and as a result, it is a global variable. And the variable b is declared within the function that is function name. And only this particular function can access this variable. Alright, so let's go to our editor that is VS Code and here I'll help you understand this better with an example. So here I've created a file called closures.html within a folder called demo underscore closures and now in my code I've written the initial code and now let me say script. Now I'll create a variable say let x be say 10 okay now I'm going to create a function with the keyword function and let me give it the name my function within which I define another variable say b which is equal to 20 and now let me just display a plus b all right now here the variable x oh i'm sorry i've said a here so let me just change this to a all right so here the variable a is a global variable all right and the variable b here is a local variable however the function my function can access the global variable a as well so now let me just call my function all right and let's save it and run our code. And there you go. You can see it's displayed the value 30. So the code can access the value of this variable as well. So I hope you understood what global and local variables are. So moving on. Now let's see what a closure is. Now closures in JavaScript is basically a feature where an inner function can access the outer function's variables. All right. So basically, a closure has three scope chains. So every function has a set of variables that it can access. So all the references to these variables are stored in a stack. And this is called the scope chain. So a closure has three scope chains. So it has scope chain of its own, that is the variables defined within its own function body. It also can access the variables of the outer functions. And finally, it has access to all the global variables. So to help you understand this better, let's go back to our VS Code. So here, let me just comment this code. And then let's just create another script. All right. Now, first, let's create a global variable. So let me call it variable A and initialize it to 10. And now let's define a function and let me call it first function, all right, within which I'm going to define a variable b. Now this is going to be a local variable which is local to this particular function, all right. And within this function, I'm going to define another function, call it second function. And now I'm going to define a variable C, which is basically the sum of A and B. 
all right i say a plus b and this function returns the value of c so i say return c all right and finally our function first func is going to return the second function so it is nothing but return second function now let me call the function. So I say variable sum equals first func. So if you have any doubts regarding functions, I highly suggest you go through our previous video on JavaScript functions. All right. So moving ahead, once the function is called, the value return is going to be stored in the variable sum. And then we're going to print the sum. So we say document dot write and let me display a message the sum is and let me just break it all right so let me save this and then execute it let's go back to our browser and just refresh the page it says the sum is 30. Now we can also go back and make changes here. Suppose I want to add a value I can just say 20 plus a plus b. So let me save this and here it says 50. So basically the function second func can access the value of b and a. So this is what closure is. So it has access to its own variables the variables of its outer function and the global variables. I hope this was clear. So I hope you understood the concept of closures. It's a very simple topic. And with that, we come to the end of this session. If you have any doubts or queries, let us know in the comment section below. If you found the video helpful, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. We're gonna be back with more videos on JavaScript. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.